Hey, welcome back to a new video. How are you all doing? Hope you're all well. Um, so we've literally just woken up. Um, and when we're on the farm, we obviously help out when we're here. Uh, and Tabitha's doing the mum's cats and stuff, like feeding them all. Um, because she's had to shoot out early, so Tabitha's doing that. So I'm literally just chilling in the van. Um, and he's going to start on breakfast because I'm going to be nice this morning to make her breakfast while she's doing something. Uh, but yeah, so literally, I've just opened the door. And this is our view straight from the door. So if we bring the exposure down. Ooh. Yeah, that's the view straight from the door. Rocky's out there somewhere playing. Down there on his lead. What are you doing, Rocks? Sniffing around as usual. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, it's been a nice morning to be fair. The last few mornings have been really nice like that. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to get on with breakfast. And then I want to edit some videos because I've kind of just been doing one video a day. Like editing one video a day. Um, and I've kind of got like a little backlog. Um, so I think today, obviously, like we said yesterday, we need to take Rocky to the vets and get him all checked out. But then after that, I think I'm just going to spend most of the day just trying to catch up on editing, really. Because um, it's nice. I like it when I'm caught up and I'm like ahead of myself. Um, because then like if I want to take a day off and not edit anything, I can do. Because I ain't got to worry about like making sure I upload. Um, and I don't make sure I upload for any other reason than the fact that it's just kind of like a nice little challenge and a nice thing to keep doing every day. Um, and it just, I find it gives me a bit more purpose to the day as well, just to actually, like, create something and actually finish it. Um, it's kind of a nice feeling when you do something like that. So, yeah, it's nothing, like, to do with just making a video every day. There's a lot more to it than that. But, um, yeah, it's just good fun. But, yeah, like I say, I'm just going to crack on and get the kettle on. Um, and like I said yesterday, with uh, just putting that hole in top of the kettle, that's made a huge difference. He's chewing around out there. Let me go and see what he's doing. Rocky, you can't get through the gate. Come on. Rocky. <laughs> he's adamant he's going to get through that. Come on, come here. Come on. Come on, boy. We're still trying to teach him on recall. Uh, we've been treating him every time, like he's been coming back and stuff, but he's still not 100% there with it. Um, he's basically, like he's picked up everything else super quick, except for recall. Um, like we call his name. Uh, obviously, we've only had him for like, what, three days now? So... Yeah, obviously you can't expect wonders from him, but he's picking up everything else super quick. Except for recall, he does come back sometimes, and then sometimes he chooses to ignore me, like then. Um, so that's one of the main things we've got to work on, because I want to, I want to get him off the lead. I don't want him on the lead. Um, obviously, unless I have to have him on the lead. I really want to get him trained so we can just walk around with him off the lead and stuff. Especially when we're out in fields and that, like, and I ain't got to worry about him running off. Or if he does run off, obviously, when I call him back, he comes back. Um, so that's the main thing we're working on, is recall. Um, because I don't want situations like that when we're out in the field and he's not on a lead. Um, because obviously it could be dangerous for livestock or anything to be famed for him. So yeah, we need to make sure we're working on that. But I'm going to crack on with the kettle because Tabfo is now back. Alright, so it's about time we take Rocky to the vets. Hopefully it all goes well. Um, and it's not too bad with his leg and stuff. But Tabfo's just looking for a little walk. So I'm just going to catch him up just to make sure he's been like, to the toilet and stuff like that before we actually take him in the van and take him to the vets. Um, it's annoying because some of the stuff we actually ordered from Amazon, like his lead and stuff, hasn't arrived. And it should have arrived by now. Um, it should have been coming today, um, but it hasn't. It's not coming until Wednesday, which is stupid, considering it's supposed to be next day delivery. Um, so we're having to take him with his old lead that he's chewed through. Um, so yeah, he's not going to look in, like, the best looked after, really, when we actually take him. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just hope, like hoping that his leg's all right and it's nothing too bad. Right, so I've ended up walking around the whole entire block, and I think I've just followed him on the walk. <laughs> Rather than catching up, I literally just followed the exact same path. So I was just clipping him in now. How is he? He's alright. He's not nervous. Is he not? No, but then he doesn't know where he's going yet. I think he? we're more nervous than him. Yeah. Ain't we, boy? Hey? <laughs> you nervous? He's like, nope, don't care. Are you driving, bud? Alright, Rocky, let's go to the vets. He don't know that word yet, but he will do eventually. <laughs> Hopefully, fingers crossed, it's all good. All right, so we're back in the van now after getting this little monster uh, sorted out. His leg seems okay, she said. Um, he's jumping around and stuff, which is what I thought, to be fair. I thought he's running around, jumping around, his legs should be fine. Um, she said, just keep an eye on it, and when we come back in four weeks, because that's when he gets a second injection. So I thought it was two, but it's four, isn't it? She said. Yeah, but she said he's fine to go out now to yeah. meet other dogs because he's been around. Yeah. Just be careful, like, don't let him drink water from ponds and stuff. Yeah, which we fine. wouldn't do really anyway. So, yeah. But yeah, he was all right. He got, he was just super excited when he seen other dogs and that lot. But once he actually met him, he's fine. 
Um, he's one of, one of them here. He looks like more scary than he actually is because obviously he's like whining and barking when he sees the dog. But as soon as he gets up to the dog, he's fine. Yeah, I um, think he just gets too excited. Yeah, so he we does. just need to meet, get him to meet other dogs mm -hmm. and hopefully that should calm him down a bit. Yeah. Just needs a lot of socialising, I think. Yeah. But at least he's all sorted now. He wasn't chipped either, so he's chipped now, which is always good. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things to be fair, but like at least he's sorted out um, and we've just got to come back in four weeks. Uh, we've got like a first lot of flea and tick and stuff like that, which we're going to put on as soon as we get back because we're going to take him out today for a walk. Um, because obviously she said we can take him out around the fields and that lot, um, which is awesome because it's an absolute gorgeous day. So I was really hoping that we could obviously take him out for a walk and stuff and she said we can. So yeah, we're all good. Yeah. Um, the other thing we've got to do is get his nails checked. Um, they're not that sharp. They're just a little bit sharp. Um, but if he's walking, like I think he was walking on grass mainly beforehand, um, so we'll try and get him to walk on like stone and stuff a lot just to toughen up his pads and actually like grind down his nails. But um, yeah, at least all of it was all right. Yeah, nothing now, to be concerned about. And now that he can go out for walks, we'll be taking him out all the time. Yeah, so now he's going to be a knackered puppy. But uh, let's go back to the farm. <laughs> Alright, so I've just got back in the van after doing shopping, and this is what I've come to. He nicked on my seat. He's just been sleeping the whole time, isn't he? Yeah, the whole time. Put this little blanket here so he can rest his head. Um, yeah, he's just literally been sleeping. Yeah, bless him. Maybe that vaccine injection took it out of him, but let's go back to the farm. Dunk. Right, so we're back at the farm now. Mm -hmm. And uh, he has been one little tired puppy. He literally slept for probably a couple of hours while we had lunch. Yeah. But it has been really hot today. Um, so I think he's been struggling with the heat as well because he was yeah. panting a bit. He was laying in the sun and usually he likes to lay outside. Um, I think he was like he was thinking he was outside a lot before we got him. Um, it kind of suits his fine. Obviously, it's only a small van, so we don't mind having him outside. Um, but yeah, usually he's just laying around outside the van and stuff. Um, and today he wasn't. He kind of was for a little bit, and then he was like sobbed that it's too hot, and he just came and laid inside the van. Um, Rocky, <whistles> Rocky, come here, in. Come here, in. He's getting much better on his recall. Yeah. Hold on, I need to get him a treat. <laughs> and we've been uh, teaching him to do paw, and he's actually picked it up really well. We've been doing it since we actually got him, but today stuck boy. he's really cute now. And then he'll just come up to you now, and he'll just try and give you his paw so he can get another treat. So, <laughs> <laughs> Good boy. Mm, good boy. He's picked it up really quickly, and he's such a clever boy. He's literally picked that up. Where are you? He's literally picked that up in... What, not even a day really. Today he's just kind of been a star with it. Oh, he's yeah, got I think he's really all. I think he's really starting to settle in now. Yeah, he is definitely. But um, we're going to have a fry up round Hazel's mum's today, so we're not cooking inside Hazel's the van again. Mom. Hazel's mum's? Tabitha's mum's Hazel. <laughs> round Tabitha's mum's. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to be having a fry up round there. Um, oh, oh, the bloody hell, the camera bag got taken out. We're getting taken out. <laughs> Did you always have a dog? Rocky, come here. Yeah, he's getting so good at this now. Come on. As yeah, we were that. struggling with his recall. Sit, sit, paw. Good boy. He's so cute. Faultless. Um, but yeah, so we're going to do that, and then we're going to take him out for a walk when it gets a bit cooler, because we were going to take him out as soon as he got back, but it was just too hot. Um, it was too hot for us, to be fair, let alone for him. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're going to take him out for a walk in a little bit, preferably before the sun sets. Um, oh, oh, careful. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to take him out for a walk in a little bit. But yeah, until then, I'm just going to get on with some editing. I haven't done any editing so far today. Um, I've kind of been just a bit, not a bit lazy with it, but I've just been more concentrating on Rocky and stuff. So yeah, I need to sit down and do some editing. Um, I think I've got like three videos again to edit. So yeah, I need to crack on with that. Um, and that's really it, to be fair. Hello, Rocky. You want to say hello? Hello. <laughs> He's like, get the camera out of my face, all right? Never seen you clearer than now. We're flying high. Alright, so I've uh, finished editing now. Now it's time to take this little monster for a walk. Um, we're just going to go around the fields and back because then we're going to come back and start dinner because we're both starving. Yes, I am hungry. I'm always hungry. <laughs> you are always hungry. Yeah. I wonder how many times, if you went back for our videos, how many times either me or you are going, I am hungry. <laughs> a lot. Yeah, especially you. We're always hungry. No, you're always the one that's hungry. Am I? I yeah, am always on the hungry. Yeah, but I always mo mention it more. Yeah, you do. When I'm uh, hungry, I tell you. Yeah, she's hangry. That's what it is. I don't get hangry. I just get oh, hungry. Yeah, I get hangry. You do get hangry. Yeah. yeah. Just anyway. feed me, and I'm fine. Yeah, let's uh, 
head on this walk. Like I said, it's not going to be that long. It's literally just around a couple of fields around here, and then we're walking back because it is getting dark. And like Tabitha said, we're hungry. <laughs> So we're in the van now, um, after getting back from a walk, and then we had a fry up round Tabitha's mum's. Um, Nev still in the jam kitchen, like making some chutney and stuff. And we've come to bed because it's about, what time is it? 11 o'clock. Yeah, and that Thai puppy literally was trying to climb on the bed before you even made it. <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, so we're just going to end the video here because we're all knackered. Um, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow.